Alright, nice. chat, are there any good videos today? Good. Is there any YouTube video ever good anymore? Is that a thing? Oh, a new Mintino video? Bro, Mintino's an idiot, dude. I'm down. If you've been entertaining. watching the entertaining side of Twitch as of lately, you must be asking yourself, who's this random weep scene girl on Miskiff's stream? Where is she from? And how is she already so much better than Miskiff at Mario 64 speedrunning? Emeru is currently blowing up in popularity on Twitch, but no one really knows who she is other than Dyrus' ex-girlfriend. Which leaves me asking, where did it all begin? In this video, I'll be going over the life of Emeru. Emily knows- Alright, I really hope you're chill on this one, dude. Look, Mentino, I know where you fucking come from. I know where did you go. Alright, for the love of God, be be nice. I'm gonna say it. Be nice this video. I know you're, you're fucking too much sometimes. You gotta chill. I really hope this next seven minutes isn't hell. I know where you, what you fucking do. I'm on top of the world! If you're watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed. Because about 50% of you guys are not subscribed. And my cat has eaten too much this month. So, instead, every sub I get until Christmas, I'll be donating 10 cents to charity. So if you would like to help people, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Surely he'll be fine. We'll be okay. Puzzle Skunk was born on January 3rd, 1988 in Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> Growing up in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, Emiru's childhood was pretty fucking lame. Yep. Because there's nothing to do really in Kansas. Bro, there's nothing to do besides make that your background for your desktop. There's, like, what the fuck do you do here besides fucking run around in crop circles and hope you get, like, taken by aliens? There's just nothing to do. Better than staring at fields and praying that your house isn't blown away by a tornado. So to escape all of the boringness, Emiru's mom decided to buy her Disney princess costumes to wear in the hopes that her daughter would imagine being in a large, amazing castle. And not the middle of fucking Kansas. Fuck Kansas! Dressing up in princess. If you still say no Uber in Kansas chat, I'm I'm gonna mod you. Costumes turned out to be a pivotal point in her life that soon began to flip a world upside down. One day, as Emery was staring at the cornfields, her brother walked in the house with a brand new Game Boy Advance that included a copy of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. When Emeru's eyes locked onto the cover art of the game, I instantly fell in love with Kirby and began to play it all day long. With time moving on. And Emiru getting older, she would continue to hog playtime on her brother's games. But then something new was introduced to her. The what the fuck is that demorphed fucking pog? Internet. It had taken some time for the internet to finally make it to Kansas, but once it did, Emiru took full advantage of it. Coming into her middle school years, em Dude! Oh my god, dude, Nancy Classified School Survivor Guide was the best fucking thing in the world. What a great show. God damn, they don't make fucking TV like they used to, boys. Emiru loved scrolling through Tumblr and Pinterest. Oh my god, dude, I- Some of the best porn I've ever seen in my entire life was on Tumblr. I- Chat, and if you don't know, now you know. It was so good. One day as she was scrolling, she discovered a Sorry. picture I'm telling of a middle-aged man dressed up as a child from Bioshock. This oh, Mantina did a face reveal, I didn't know that. I just realized, there he is. This strange picture intrigued Emeru, and with little research, she discovered a cosplay. A hobby where a bunch of nerds dress up as characters they'll never be. Chat, 1 in 286 people are furries, which means right now in my chat right now, there's about 317 furries. Find them. Cosplay reminded Emeru of her days as a child and began to take interest. But with middle school quickly approaching, Emeru had different interests. <laughs> Pretty than much at all my mods. Thanks again to Tumblr, Emeru had came in contact with another degenerate interest, scene culture. Oh she my- She loved the bright colors. Bro, I have never- I will never have the- do you know the heart drop feeling that you have when you see a girl? I will never have that again, other than when I went to the fucking mall and I saw a scene girl next to fucking Spencer's. Like, those girls to me were, I don't know what it was about them, man. Oh, God, I, I miss that shit. Terrible music, and the Final Fantasy hairstyle of the scene culture. I love you, Saikuda. Culture. But most importantly, she loved the fashion as well. Thanks to some creepy kid named Julian, Emeru was able to get in contact with some of the other scene kids at her school. These scene kids decided to give Emeru a complete makeover. Bro, what scene kid looked like this? They were riddled with acne. Okay, they had the worst eyeliner you'll ever see in your- No scene kid looked like this. This, this, this looks like a fucking JCPenney catalog of the fucking scene kids. All of mine were riddled with acne, fat as fuck, and I still try to get my dick sucked. And introduce her to the place that most Christian moms fear the most. Hot Topic. While trying not to make eye contact with the employees. Cringe. I, I thought Hot Topic was cringe always and forever. It was always cringe. I ne You know the second I knew I knew that they were cringe? When they put Adventure Time there. When they started doing Adventure Time shit, 
that's what I'm like, yeah, this is the cringiest place in the fucking world. And the lanyards, shut the fuck up, that shit was, that place was cringe from the day it started. Simon began to look around and fell in love with everything from Nadomo backpacks, blood on the dance floor CDs. My ex-ex-girlfriend had both those things. To the Cookie Monster snapbacks. Ah, the Cookie Monster snapbacks. Emeru loved the new sense of style, but considering what the low the population fuck? count in Kansas, she felt like no one was around to appreciate it. So she hopped on the internet and created a MySpace page to show off how nerdy she was. Is that Emmy? What the fuck? That's not Emeru, is it? Touch it gently and put two fingers aside. If it's wide, use three. That's not Emmy. That's not her, is it? Make sure it's wet and rub it down. Yup, that's how you wash a cup. That's not Emeru, is it? It's not? I hope. Emeru continued to be- Are you sure? Seen up into high school, but yet again, things began to change. One day as she was listening to Nightcore at lunch, one of the other scene kids told Emeru about a game she had never heard before. Come on, Mentino! That day, Emeru searched up this game on YouTube and came across videos made by Trick2G. Intrigued by this game he was playing, Emeru went on to watch all of his YouTube videos of him farming lane for 20 minutes and then eventually put down the D cane. This led her making one of the biggest mistakes of her life, playing League of Legends. No! It could have been Smite! The toxicity of League, playing as Janna, Sona, and Nami. Confused as to why she was getting pinged in game, she was determined to get good. With get the well. public interest in League growing, many people began to take the game seriously, such as X Special and Dyrus. With their skills, they begin to take notice of many e-girls, especially Dyrus. Dude, no, I, 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 you know what's funny, chap? I, I've been told so much that the second I get single, that all these girls are going to start hitting me up in the DMs. All of them. Like, I was told that, like, there's going to be a tremendous amount of new <laughs> women that are going to hit me up. None. Yeah, you know who hit me up in the DMs? Honestly, the only girl that's hit me up in the past month is, is Mia Malkova. And she's like, yo, can I come over? I want to make content. With his sexy blue repellent. Is that all I'm known for? Gunner glasses. Which <laughs> also gave him a plus 30 FPS boost. One I hope so. That's the answer. One of these e-girls was Emeru, who took notice of Dyrus' fast hands. In order to impress her new crush, she began to grind League in hopes of getting queued up with him. But That's not game fuel. Don't put that here. Did. Yet, she saw the perfect opportunity to meet him IRL. But the only way she could make this happen was by joining Team Siren. And all what the female fuck is Team team Siren? Oh. Considering the requirements to join a team of- Wait, she wasn't on Team Siren, was she? That talent was too much to handle for a hard stuck gold one, such as Emeru. She had to come up with a plan. In hopes of boosting her skills, Emeru started a Facebook group page in search of the best League of Legends players in their area. However, the group page turned into a forum where she would talk about how broken Zen Xiao is and how Kawaii Desu Dyrus is. Day by day, year by year, Emeru's love for Dyrus never faded. Even out of high school, his amazing flowing hair stuck in her mind. Damn, that shit faded. Nevertheless, it all paid off when Emeru left a reply on one of Dyrus's tweets of him asking for a dinner date. Uh, that was actually me on her, uh, Twitter. Nervous as fuck, Emeru went on to ask him to carry her in league. This was the beginning of their relationship. Knowing that her skills wouldn't be enough to impress her new boyfriend, Emeru did what any other girlfriend of a popular- <coughs> <coughs> Rosie, cut this part out, please. Cut this part out. Shimmer would do. Began to stream herself. Now with her life ahead of her, Emeru couldn't decide whether to go to college or move in with Dyrus. So she did the most logical thing and got <coughs> the fuck out of Kansas and moved in with Dyrus. The following year- I remember this fucking video. I remember it. It's like, it's it's called like Dyrus. It's just like, all he's doing is talking about League and there's a girl behind him. And you were like, who the hell is this random chick? Why is she there? Emery would start to build her brand as a cosplayer and streamer. And would start to crawl over her shell and start to collab with people like Tyler1 for TCS and Bombie Monkers on TikTok. That was her? She would even eventually get invited to join Cloud9 as a content creator after seeing her growth on TikTok. Emeru wanted to collab with more streamers and make long-term friendships, but no one would really reach out to her. But luckily for Emeru, AT&T invited her to a CSGO Twitch Rivals event, where she played for the content creators teams. This is where she met Miss Kiff. 
Oh, dude, Mentino knows too much about me. Mentino, you better hurry, you better hurry this part up, okay? This is gonna be the worst two minutes of my life. Miscuit. Hurry up, you hurry up, hurry up. Tournament over with? Hurry up. Put no yep, let's get this video over with. By rushing sites and shooting teammates. This would be the beginning of their friendship. Miskif would go on to invite Emeru to play League of Legends, Monopoly, and participate in various OTK events. Which brings us to the present day. Okay, I'll tell you how it started, alright? So pretty much all, all it began is this. Wow, this is just... It, it, history repeats itself, I guess, with Mario 64. We both started playing um, one of the games. I forgot what it was. I think it was Street Fight or something. And she was just so much better than me immediately. I'm like, how are you doing so well? So she's like, here, I'll teach you. And then we started hanging out on Discord call. That's literally how it happened. Now and she was destroying me. And I think she won. I've broken up with Dyrus. Emeru has moved into Miskis' playhouse with all her bunnies. She is currently learning how to improve her PB time on Mario 64 with her recent mastery of the LBJs and is sitting through hours of watching Miskis being bad at the game. But only time will tell if Emeru will fall victim to Miskis' Damn, I lost weight! master plan. But for now, all that matters is, is that she looks happy. I think. Oh, she looks fucking happy? Oh my god, she does! Dude, chat, admit I have the coolest house on Twitch. I just do, okay? It's cooler than literally everybody else. I have the coolest house on Twitch. I just do. I do. Good woman, Tino. You're so stupid. Dude, League is a good game. Valorant fucking sucks dick. Hey! Did a bit of me feasting, baby! He's got leftovers from yesterday. What am I doing? That, look, I'll take that compared to whatever else you were gonna say about me. Matino, do you put any effort into this video? Any. You just literally labeled it, who is Emeru? And what the fuck is this? Why, why are all these names here? Why is Sinek here with an uwu? What a stupid fucking video. Classic Matita. Mod spam it. Bum, 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 bum.